Hey guys, it's your girl Brie and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a different one. This is going to be a get to know me just because it is my one year anniversary on YouTube and I'm super excited and I kind of just wanted to do something so you guys could get to know me a little bit better and this is what I came up with. Also, if you guys are new here, please subscribe to your girl's channel so you guys can see more videos like this and if you guys are interested in getting to know me, then please keep on watching. All right guys, the first question on the list is are you still singing? A lot of people don't know this about me, but I am a singer. I've been doing it since I was a little girl. I did choir, I did concerts, I did singing lessons after high school and it's honestly the reason why I moved to LA in the first place. I moved here when I was 23. So pretty much like I have a piano and I'll you know play my piano. I've written songs, I've gone to open mic nights and I was pursuing it and then I kind of got distracted. Nobody's fault but my own but I got into a relationship and I felt like I allowed that to be more of a priority than what I was trying to do out here and that's not an excuse like I said but that's kind of just what happened and I haven't really been doing it as much anymore. I am still playing the piano though. I've been writing and you know you never know what the future holds. I absolutely still love singing and I would love to still pursue it so just keep a lookout. You never know. <laughs> the most singing I do is mostly in my car but you know that's still singing so yeah we'll see what happens. The second question somebody asked me is, which was your favorite job? The bank, the gym, because I was also a lifeguard. I worked at Hooters. Any other job not mentioned? Miss you, Brie Brie. Ah, oh, miss you too. Anyways, so pretty much I've worked at a bank like for the longest time. After I moved from Washington, because I'm from Washington State, I moved out from Washington when I was 19 years old. I moved to Bakersfield for four years. And when I got there, I worked at a bank. And then I also worked at a gym. And I was a lifeguard out there. And then I was pretty much just working a bank job and then working at the gym. I had so much fun at the gym. Like, honestly, like, I absolutely loved working at the gym because I also got a free membership, so that was awesome. But I do, like, I really did like being a lifeguard. That part was definitely cool because then, you know, being a lifeguard, I got a tan. <laughs> I just love being tan, but anyways, yeah, so that was cool. Um, the bank, not so much. Like, I've always worked at a bank since I was like 19 years old, so I worked at a bank until I want to say I was like 27, 26 or 27. I can't really remember the exact age, but around that age, and I just, no, I don't really miss working at the bank, but it was just something that I had already done and had experience. It was very easy, you know, it was paying my bills, and that's why I did it. But yeah, I don't really miss working at the bank. The gym was hella cool. I liked being a lifeguard. That one was cool. Also, I was a receptionist there and I also did daycare. So all that stuff was fun. And then when I moved to LA, I moved to LA when I was 23 years old and I worked at a bank again because you know I had experience, so I transferred. And then after that, I also started working at Hooters and I honestly absolutely loved Hooters. It was so much fun. I miss actually working with my girlfriends and just having fun. Like it's just a fun place to work and you make good money. So I definitely do like miss Hooters as well. And then after that I also worked at a different restaurant as well. But I have to say probably working at Hooters and then also working at the gym were definitely my favorites by far because I was so burnt out on baking. <laughs> But those two, yes, I definitely miss them so much. Unfortunately, I lost Hooters um, due to the pandemic and then they actually closed so they never opened back up and there's not one that's near me. So I miss being a Hooters girl, but you know, I still got pics and memories and all that good stuff and I actually keep in touch with a lot of the girls, so that's good. Definitely working at the gym, being a lifeguard, receptionist, and working at Hooters were my favorite. What are your favorite lashes to use? I would say, because I used to buy, well, I still have pairs of Lily lashes. I just don't buy them as often because they're kind of more on the pricey side. But I definitely say Lily lashes are by far my favorite. Like, I just think they're so beautiful and I just love the different styles because a lot of them are made for like dramatic looks. And I feel like most of the time I do a lot of glam on my channel because I just gravitate towards that. But I would say, Lily Lashes in the style Goddess, those are my favorite because they're just so like 
flared and beautiful and I just absolutely love those styles. I also love Ardell and I love the Wispies and I also love House of Lashes. So any of those three but definitely Ardell are like an OG just because like Wispies you can never go wrong with them because they're so pretty <laughs> and they're very affordable. Lily lashes are a little bit more on the pricey side so if you're feeling like indulging then I would definitely recommend it but they ain't cheap honey. So the next one is best skincare, moisturizer, primer, on spot treatment. Best skincare? Hmm, let me see. What kind of skincare do I use right now? Best skincare? I would say I really enjoy pharmacy products. Um, I used to have the melting balm that would like melt your makeup away and I love the smell of it and I just love the texture of it. It doesn't leave any greasy residue or anything like that and one of my boxy charms I actually got the moisturizer and right now that's the current moisturizer that I'm absolutely loving because it smells so good but it's like a jelly moisturizer but it just like sinks into your skin and you just feel so hydrated. So right now I've been using that and then I also use for toner right now, I use Ula Henriksen just because I do have a couple of dark spots and I actually do the dark treatment one. And then I also used the Bliss, the serum, the toner, the serum slash toner. I really enjoy that as well. And then I also just use like an eye cream for nighttime because you always like, especially getting older, you should definitely incorporate an eye cream into your routine. I would say right now for primer, I'm enjoying the Bobbi Brown, which is like a vitamin base, but it's primer and it's also a moisturizer and it makes your skin feel very, very nice. And it's a good base for your foundation. But I also started using the Mill Gripping Primer and I really enjoy that one as well. Like if you're looking for a good gripping one, that's the one you should definitely try out. It's very sticky, so if you don't like sticky primers, then I don't recommend it, but I enjoy using it. <laughs> For facials, I haven't been able to get any just because of the pandemic and everything that's going on, but in the past, I would get like maybe one or two done a year. I know that's not a lot, but I mean, I just recently kind of get it started getting into facials like before, like I didn't really do them, but then of course, like skincare is important. And so I did, I wanna say I would do it like one to two times a year. A facial because also like it's kind of pricey but then also the <laughs> but it's just kind of painful like I don't know if you've ever gotten a facial but you know they do extractions and so sometimes it can be a little bit uncomfortable but I definitely recommend getting facials because it is so good for your skin okay you guys have great questions thank you all right the next question is how long have I been doing makeup I want to say I don't count how long I've been doing makeup until after I went to school and I went to school in 2017. I went to Michael Vincent Academy. I went there for three months and I count when I started doing makeup from that time frame just because like I felt like after I went to school like I learned skills and all that good stuff. So I would say it's from 2017 so I want to say about four years. It'll be four years in May because that's when I graduated from the school. So about four years you know and before then, like, I would do it, but not, like, seriously or anything like that. Only when I would go out. <laughs> Question is, why did you want to become a makeup artist? I would say the reason why I wanted to become a makeup artist was when I was younger, I used to get ready to go out a lot. And I feel like I just kind of fell in love with putting makeup on and just, like, the whole process of getting ready and, like, listening to music, zenning out, and just, you know, having fun and playing with makeup. So I would definitely say... I think getting ready and all that stuff like absolutely fell in love with it because it's just so much fun to put makeup on and just you know experiment and try different colors different techniques and then also I just love the idea of just making people feel beautiful and I know when I put on my makeup like I feel like a totally different person it just kind of gives you like confidence and a persona and that's mostly why I did because you know it just makes people feel beautiful and it makes people feel good and I I love that idea and also like when you do it other people's makeup I love making them feel beautiful and all that good stuff <laughs> all right guys we are ending the questions this is the last question I received what made you start your channel I would say what made me start my channel was when my girlfriend Stephanie she was over at my house one time and we were hanging out and she actually showed me a video of I believe I, 
I want to say it was Desi Perkins. She showed me a video of them actually on vacation and it wasn't even a makeup tutorial at first. It was like them on vacation and then like I kind of just like fell in love with her personality and stuff and she's like, yeah, she's one of my favorites. Like she does makeup and all that stuff. So after Stephanie had shown me their vacation video, like I went <laughs> on her page and I just started watching all of her makeup tutorials and I just fell in love with like the idea of doing makeup tutorials and basically connecting with people. But the thing I loved about Desi Perkins is that she always like coordinates everything together and it just looks like so beautiful and perfect she does backdrops like with her makeup and everything like she's so talented she's one of my favorites but I would definitely say like the whole my friend Stephanie showing me but also when I had my 26th birthday I was Cleopatra and I wanted to look up a makeup look so then I looked up I love Sada E and she showed me how to do a Cleopatra look and Mine did not come out as bomb as hers, obviously, because like I'm, I was still a noob at the time. But I remember that's how like I also discovered her. Like I absolutely love her as well. I think she's so talented, so beautiful, and I just like love like the personalities, connecting with people, and then just you know trying to teach people your techniques and what works for you, what doesn't, and just educating people about makeup. Because I guess a lot of people don't really know. Like I have some friends that really don't know anything about makeup, or you know people say like I only use one brush, and I'm like. Like, what? How can you only use one brush for your makeup routine? Like, because I have so many and I have beauty blenders and sponges and all that stuff. So I would definitely say like I also love like teaching people how to apply makeup and you know how to blend and do wing liner and all that good stuff. So I would say my friend Stephanie and just you know like obviously like I also follow so many other influencers, makeup artists, creators and I just I just love watching makeup tutorials. <laughs> I think it's so much fun. It's just so mesmerizing to me and I'm just so like passionate about it. So I just love watching other people's videos and you know connecting with them and their different personalities. So that's definitely why I wanted to start. Also you guys I wanted to let you know that I did record the beginning of my journey of starting my makeup channel and so if you guys are interested in watching like the process of me going and getting the supplies and then setting everything up then go ahead and keep on watching I just thought it would be interesting you know it's not like it's not really long or anything like that and I apologize if anything because I didn't even show like what the backdrop or anything <laughs> but I did like show you guys the setup of how I put everything together and everything like that so I have a giant pimple on my head so sorry about that I'm just like of course but you know it is what it is your girl ain't perfect so don't mind my Mount Everest on my forehead when you watch it but yeah I'm on my way to go get my my backdrops to start my channel today or yeah to start my channel today super excited of course good morning <laughs> well that's like part of being a makeup artist you know the skin be acting up sometimes so I'm super excited to go get my backdrops and then I'm also going to go to Home Depot, get the bounce boards I need to like chop in that light and then yeah and then I'm going to get started today. I'm so excited, nervous, don't really know what the hell I'm doing but hey it's part of the learning experience. So see you soon. I just purchased my first few backdrops. All three of them. I'm so excited from the moon. They were so sweet. Raul was awesome. And yeah, so stoked. Okay, so I've just been notified that these are the things that I need, but I didn't realize they were so freaking big. How the hell am I supposed to get this in a car? What the hell? Look how big this thing is. And the guy's like, we don't cut it. Okay, I guess I'll just figure it out. So this was a mission. Basically had to cut these at Home Depot. Freaking the guy's like, here's a razor. <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool. After he's like, you have a truck? And I was like, no. And then I asked him, like, what should I do? He's like, cut it. Here's a razor. I'm like, sure, thank you. <laughs> Let me just try and butcher this freaking thing. Okay, so I just opened my C stand box. It's gonna be a freaking mission. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing with these. What should be fun? Let's see, I got the first one up. It really wasn't that hard to put up. It's pretty simple. Good size. Oh, don't mind my mess. I'm pretty proud of myself. I did it all by myself. First one down. Now I need to do the other one. Okay, so I got both C stands set up. There's my ring light. 
so yeah next step okay so i got my little setup so far um i had to move a little bit of my furniture i had to move my bed and so basically i around my vanity put a little reflector thing on there I have the c stands in the back they're ready for the cloth to be put on they're so big but yeah this is what i have so far so i'm almost there so excited so, thank you guys so much for all of the awesome questions. I had so much fun answering them. I hope you guys get a little bit better sense of who I am and you guys get to know me a little bit better from this video. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. Like, if you ever watched any of my videos, you like them, you shout me out or anything like that, like, I truly do appreciate all of your support and it means so much to me and I can't believe it's already been a year and I just want to say to all my 55 subscribers thank you so much for supporting me and watching my channel and I hope you've seen a lot of growth and because I know I definitely have and I'm super proud of myself and I would definitely say like this first year has just been so much learning like I had no idea what I was getting myself into when I started my channel like I'm basically starting from scratch like I learned everything on my own I did everything on my own and you know like I've come a long way so I can't wait for this next year and I hope you guys stick around because I also have some amazing ideas coming up and just mostly gonna be working on consistency and growth this year you know my first year was kind of a more of a trial and error I had a few breakdowns you know what I'm saying meltdowns but you know it's part of the process as well as like learning like editing and lighting and like all this stuff I'm still learning so I'm no pro or anything like that just because it's only been a year that doesn't mean you know I'm a pro but I'm super proud of myself even my makeup skills as well I feel like I've come a long way but like I said thank you guys so much for watching me and I love you guys and thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys in my next video bye